Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wacky Wednesday, a weekly series where we explore wacky deck ideas in both standard and modern, and this week we're taking a look at Splendid Valakut in Modern, a red-green land-based, graveyard-based combo deck that's looking to win the game with Splendid Reclamation, a 4-mana sorcery that says return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So how does this deck operate? It's kind of a mixture between modern dredge and modern scapeshift in that it has the graveyard fueling cards from dredge, including the dredge cards themselves and all the draw and discard effects. And then we have the win condition from the scapeshift deck, which is a Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle. So the way the deck works is just trying to fill its graveyard with as many lands as possible, including Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle, and then cast Splendid Reclamation. Then Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle says, whenever a mountain enters a battlefield under your control, if you control at least five other mountains, you can have Valakut deal three damage to any target. So with all those mountains entering the battlefield, you'll get to deal three damage for each mountain for each Valakut to the opponent, and that will usually be more than enough to kill the opponent in one big hit. So let's go over the entire decklist, but first I can maybe explain the dredge mechanic for those that may not be familiar with it. So one of the dredge cards in our deck is Stinkweed Imp. The converted mana cost and the power and toughness on Stinkweed Imp and the other stats don't really matter. All we care about is dredge 5, which means that whenever we would take a draw step and Stinkweed Imp is in our graveyard, instead of drawing a card from our library, we can decide to return Stinkweed Imp from the graveyard to our hand, and then we have to put the top 5 cards of our library into our graveyard instead, and that's what the Dredge 5 stands for. If it's Dredge 4, then you have to just put the top 4 cards of your library into your graveyard instead when returning the card to your hand. So all that the Dredge does is really fuel your graveyard with a bunch of cards from your library, and that's all we're really interested in. We're not interested in casting the Stinkweed Imp. With that information, we can quickly go over the entire deck list starting out with our four copies of Faithless Looting, one of the most important cards in any dredge deck. So one mana to draw two cards and then discard two cards. So what this does is, if we already have a dredge card in the graveyard, then great, we can just replace the draw from Faithless Looting with a dredge effect from one of those dredge cards in our graveyard instead. So for example, if we have a Stinkweed Imp in the graveyard, we get to mill the top five cards, return Stinkweed Imp to our hand. Then if with those mills from the Stinkweed Imp, we happen to put an additional dredge card in the graveyard, then that can replace the second draw from the Faithless Looting. And then after all that is said and done, we can still discard two cards. So we can just discard two dredge cards so we can dredge them again in the future. And of course, Faithless Looting also has flashback for two in a red, so we can flash it back from the graveyard, which is great since we're fueling the graveyard anyway, so we might happen to mill some Faithless Lootings into our graveyard for free. Then we also have four copies of Insulin Neonate, single red for a 1-1 creature with menace. We can discard a card and sacrifice a Neonate to draw a card. So what this does is it works very well with the dredge cards, since you can discard the dredge card from your hand before getting the draw, which means you can discard a dredge card and then dredge instead of taking the draw step, which is the preferred order if you already have a dredge card in your hand, unlike Faithless Looting where you have to draw first and then discard, so if you don't already have a dredge card in the graveyard then the looting is a bit slower than the neonate. Then we have four copies of Golgari Thug, which is a dredge 4 card, and uh, the rest of the card doesn't really matter. Then we have four copies of Cathartic Reunion, two mana sorcery that makes us discard two cards as an additional cost, and then we get to draw three cards. So again, this is the preferred order to draw and discard, since first we get to discard the dredge cards, and then we get to dredge them as our draw effect. And same goes for two copies of Tormenting Voice, very similar to Reunion, but here we just get to discard one and then draw two, so it's kind of a less powerful version of the Reunion. Then we have three copies of Life from the Loam, which is another dredge card with dredge three, but unlike the other dredge cards, we will actually end up casting the Life from the Loam. So it's a two mana sorcery that says, return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand. So this works very well with our alternate win condition, which is Conflagrate, just by helping us put a whole bunch of cards in our hand that we can then subsequently discard to a giant Conflagrate to kill our opponent. Then Life from the Loam also helps us keep hitting land drops, because sometimes when you replace all your draw steps with dredge effects, you end up uh, not drawing any additional lands, and Life from the Loam helps you keep hitting your land drops so you can make sure to get up to 4 mana where you can cast Splendid Reclamation. 
Then we have four copies of Stinkweed Imp, a card with Dredge 5, and that's all that really matters. Then we have two copies of Mystic Retrieval, which is also a key part of the deck. So a four mana sorcery that says, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, and it has flashback for two in a red. So sometimes you don't end up drawing the Splendid Reclamation, since you're just dredging over and over again and uh, not taking any actual draw steps. So Mystic Retrieval helps there, since you can just flashback the Mystic Retrieval if it's in the graveyard, and with all the dredging going on, it's very likely that a Mystic Retrieval and a Splendid Reclamation end up in a graveyard. So then you can just flashback the Mystic Retrieval from the graveyard, returning a Splendid Reclamation to your hand, where you get to cast it for 4 mana to win the game. So an ideal curve includes dredging a whole lot on turns 1 and 2, and then maybe casting Mystic Retrieval on 3, and then casting Splendid Reclamation for the win on turn 4. But uh, sometimes, of course, things will be a little slower. Then we have our 4 copies of Splendid Reclamation, our win condition, and then we also have an alternate win condition in Conflagrate, double X red in its casting cost, and Conflagrate deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of targets, but we're usually not casting Conflagrate from our hand since double X is quite expensive. Instead it also has flashback for double red and discard X cards, so then instead of having to pay a whole bunch of mana for the X, we can just discard, let's say, 7 cards from our hand, and then deal 7 damage to the opponent, and the way we get all those cards into our hand is with Life from the Loam. We can just drench Life from the Loam over and over again, putting a whole bunch of land into her hand and then finish off her opponent with a giant conflagrate and of course we also have the alternate win condition of just having Valakut in play with a whole bunch of mountains that we can keep playing so that's also an alternate win condition if the splendid reclamation doesn't work so let's go over the mana base besides four copies of Valakut we need a lot of mountains since we can't really afford to have a lot of lands that aren't mountains when uh, playing a Valakut deck so we just have the one basic forest that's not a mountain and four copies of wooded foothills which are just fetch lands which can of course fetch up mountains when we play them but when we return them with the Splendid Reclamation they won't be mountains right away but uh, after we get to untap with them of course we can fetch a mountain to still get the effect from Valakut. And then the rest of the mana base we have eight basic mountains and all these basic lands go nicely with our four copies of Cinderglade, which enters the battlefield untapped if we control two or more basic lands, and also counts as a mountain. And then we have a bunch of shock lands, which of course also count as mountains. One blood crypt, in case we do want to hard cast some of the black dredge cards. We have one steam vents, in case we want to hard cast the mystic retrieval. And then four copies of stomping ground, which is both a mountain and a forest, and helps us cast our green spells. Then let's quickly go over the sideboard, where we have four copies of Lightning Axe, single red for an instant that deals five damage to target creature, but as an additional cost we have to discard a card, which of course is great since we get to discard our dredge cards, and this gives us some interaction against the creature combo decks or just the aggressive creature decks. We have four copies of Nature's Claim as a one mana instant that can destroy target artifact or enchantment, and its controller gains four life, so this is a way for us to combat graveyard hate cards or various problematic enchantments that uh, maybe prevent us from winning with the Valakut. Then we have three copies of Damping Sphere against Tron decks, Storm decks, or other combo decks. Then we have three copies of Ancient Grudge to deal with artifacts, also as flashback, so works very well in a dredge deck where we're putting a bunch of cards in our graveyard. And finally we have one Boseju, which we can bring in against decks with counter spells, since this helps make our Splendid Reclamation uncounterable at the cost of 2 life. So that's the deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play. And I don't think we can keep this hand. Eh, this is better. A double looting Tormenting Voice with a Dredger and a Loam to make sure we keep hitting lands. And I guess we can take the Reclamation. And then our only concern is filling the graveyard and hitting land drops, which we can pretty easily do with this hand. So let's start with the looting. And then discard Imp and I guess a Life from the Loam. Say go. Alright, turn one Grim Lava Monster, so looks like burn. So let's dredge the Imp. Alright, those are some nice finds. So let's looting again. Dredge Imp, and I think we have to dredge the Loam here. Discard both Imps, place Cinder Glade, say go. Next turn we can dredge Imp, cast the Loam to get back enough lands, and then we have the turn 4 kill. 
And idle not a great travel, that's fine. So let's dredge imp. And then we need to cast loam. And then get back Falakut and a mountain. Take two from Eidolon, play Valakut, say go. Next turn, dredge another imp and then cast Reclamation for the win. Hopefully we have enough mountains. We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five mountains plus a Valakut with two mountains in play. It's gonna be three, so yeah, that should be more than enough. And another Eidolon, that's fine. And a suspended Rift Bolt. Alright, let's dredge imp. Play land four, cast reclamation. And that should do it. Whole bunch of Alka triggers. And that should be more than 18 damage. And our opponent scoops it up. Alright, so. Up against Burn, Red White, they could have Rest in Pieces in the sideboard. And Nature's Claim can also answer Eidolon, so I don't hate bringing in the Claim. And I don't think we want Lightning Axe. So just bringing in four Claims. What do we take out? Don't mind shaving the Conflagrates and a Loam. And then shave a Tormenting Voice since it's the least powerful of the draw effects, I think. Alright, let's try this. So yeah, Nature's Claim doing double duty against Eidolon and potential Graveyard Hate cards is nice. Alright, this looks like a keep to me. I've got Looting to go with the Thug and Life from the Loam and Nature's Claim just in case. Turn 1 Swift Spear. Opponent off to a faster start than last game. Alright, so I don't hate fetching a Mountain here to preserve a life total. And then casting the looting, discarding Imp and Thug. Say go. Sacred Foundry untapped. Into Rest in Peace, alright. I could have considered discarding Imp plus Loam and keeping the Thug in case of a Rest in Peace, since then we would have kept a better Drencher in hand to discard to the Neonate. Now we know. Swift Spirit gets in for two, also gets a prowess trigger from the rest in peace, so that's nice. Alright, at least we have the uh, Nature's Claim, so I think we fetch Forest just to, again, preserve our life total. I don't think the fact that we're not getting a mountain is more relevant than the fact that we're preserving two life. So let's get basic Forest. Claim the rest in peace. Play Neonate and we can chump the Swift Spear for a turn and then discard Loam, start dredging. It's gonna be difficult to still win this game since our opponent did get rid of two powerful dredgers and a looting in the graveyard, which we kind of needed, but we still have a chance. Alright, second Swift Spear into Lava Spike. Alright, so now I'm definitely blocking with the Neonate. So we'll take a total of 5 damage this turn, down to 10. And we'll dredge the loam. And uh, not find anything too exciting. Alright, so I think we're kind of forced to cast the loam. And I don't think we get anything back, we'll just cast the loam just to put it in the graveyard essentially. And then play a Valakut, say go. And then we still need to find a Splendid Reclamation. So yeah, I think we're going to be too slow this game against Double Swift Spear if our opponent has anything reasonable left in hand. At least we got to see our opponent has Rest in Peace, so we know that boarding in Nature's Claim makes sense. Alright, another Lava Spike. So that's a total of 7 damage this turn, down to 3. But it doesn't look like they have lethal. A Rift Ball suspended, that will do it. So is there any way we can survive? I don't think so. I guess we have to take our draw step. Tormenting Voice. Can discard Valakut. And then Dredge Loam. 
and then uh, draw Stinkweed Imp. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. All right, let's uh, go to game three. So I don't think we want Lightning Axe, although it's definitely a consideration being able to kill a, a Swiss Spear or a Goblin Guide early can buy us some time, but it does also slow us down a little bit. Could maybe go for a Nature's Claim Lightning Axe split, which might also be reasonable, but I don't want to overboard. I guess I can consider a split. Try this. All right, would like to be on the play. And can we keep this? I don't think so. No dredger, just a one land. All right, we have the dredgers, but no draw effect to go with them. So this is definitely a sketchy keep. So I think we go to five. This hand doesn't do anything. Don't think we can keep. All right, I'll keep this and keep Golgari Thug on top. All right, at least we have a plan. I've got a tormenting voice into Thug. It's uh, not going to be pretty, but it's a start. Turn one Goblin Guide. It's going to reveal the Thug. All right, that's tormenting voice. And pick up two more dredgers. Goblin Guide reveals Reclamation. So we're not doing much at the moment. Nature's Claim would have been better as a uh, Lightning Axe right now, being able to discard Stinkweed Imp as well. And they did have the Rest in Peace again. All right, I mean, we do have Nature's Claim, but we're not getting anywhere, so... I need some pretty miraculous draws. Goblin Guide reveals Stinkweed Imp. We are playing quite a few lands in our deck, so at some point the guy's gonna find us a land. But for now, he's in Dredge land. And of turn we'll claim. Although I guess we didn't have to since we know what we're drawing. And that's not gonna change our play, so we could have held on to the Nature's Claim, I guess. Opponent's gonna Boris Charm us, end of turn. Down to 10. Another Swiss Spear. And a Lava Spike. All right, so we might have one more turn and that's not going to be enough to find a way out. Guide reveals Mystic Retrieval. That's not going to do it. All right, so fell short to burn. Did have to mulligan in the last game and I did have rest in peace in two sideboarded games. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play. I don't think we can keep this. If we had two lands, perhaps, because then we have reunion with some uh, dredger still. But this seems a bit too weak. All right, I'll keep this, and I'll keep the Stinkweed Imp on top, I think, since we'll draw it next turn, and then we get to discard it to Reunion to have two powerful dredgers in the graveyard. Turn one Islands. Let's Reunion. Discarding both Imps. And dredge Imp number one, and dredge Imp number two. And I guess dredge Imp number three. All right, so we've got quite a few cards in our graveyard already. And it's only turn two. But we do need to find the Retrieval to get back the Reclamation, since we don't have one in hand. Next turn we can flashback Looting, so that's okay. Opponent on Double Island. Into Smuggler's Copter, all right, so it could be a Merfolk deck. Sometimes plays Copter. Ooh, and there's a Conflagrate. So let's take two. Flashback Looting. And then, all right, there's a Retrieval. So we already have our Steam Vents in the Graveyard, so we can't fetch for it with the Foothills to cast a Retrieval from our hand. So I think we have to discard it. And then I'll discard Stinkweed Imp, I guess, over Conflagrate. And say go. And then we should have a turn five kill if they don't have any disruption. So next turn we can Retrieval for Reclamation while dredging some more. And then turn five Reclamation for the win. Ooh, all right, so they're not Merfolk. They're uh, maybe the Blue Steel deck, or however it's called. Ethereum Sculptor making artifacts cheaper. Into another one. All right, fair enough. Crew the Copter. If our opponent can play the Golem next turn, that makes our spells more expensive, we could be in trouble. So we'll take three from the Copter. And, all right, opponent 
plays a free Throne of the God Pharaoh and crews the Copter a second time with a Sculptor just to have an extra tapped creature. That's a nice synergy. So they deal 3 damage with the Throne. They might be able to get there before we do, since we're kind of forced to go with uh, Retrieval here, get back Reclamation, and if our opponent has any way of disrupting us, then uh, we could be dead. We'll say go. We should have enough mountains in the graveyard to win next turn if they don't disrupt us. Grand Architects, that should not kill us here. Although I guess, let's see, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 from the throne is exactly 12. So yeah, they actually do get to kill us here. Thanks to the throne, since they can use the Architect as well to make the Copter blue to deal an extra point of damage. And then yeah, 8 damage plus 4 from the throne is 12. Alright, so one turn too slow here. Opponents started off kind of slow, but in the end made up for it with uh, the free Throne of the God Pharaoh. Alright, so on to sideboarding against an artifact based deck. So at least we get to bring in Ancient Grudges and Nature's Claims, I think. And then what do we cut? I don't think we'll need Conflagrate. Can probably cut a life from the Loma at that point. And then cut some of the weaker draw effects. Tormenting Voice and Neonate. I guess maybe for Nature's Claims is a bit much. Can get away with two. Yeah, this seems fine. Alright, we're on the play. And yeah, I think we keep this. It's unexciting, but a looting and a dredger is kind of where we want to start and then hoping to draw into some of our Ancient Grudges. Alright, get to discard two Dredgers. Turn one Artificer's Assistant. Get to Dredge Imp. Alright, there's an Ancient Grudge in the graveyard. What to do, what to do. I think we do play the Stomping Ground untapped. And then say go. And then next turn we can flash back the looting. Alright, two mana for Chief Engineer. And a free Ethereum Sculptor essentially. Opponent gets to scry with the assistance. So we could Ancient Grudge the Sculptor. It's probably not their best card we could target, but I feel like we're gonna spend our mana the next couple turns. So I'm gonna just take the opportunity to get something off the board. Alright, let's dredge Golgari Thug, go Mountain Looting. And discard Stinkweed Imp and Golgari Thug. Say go. And next turn we can do the same, except we get to dredge. Alright, another Ethereum Sculptor. And the Relic of Progenitus for free. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. So now they get to exile our graveyard, and we're gonna be sad. They let us untap. I'm not gonna dredge anything since there's no points, but I will flash back a looting if they let us. And just take two natural draws. Those were two ugly draws. Alright, not getting there. I guess we can get rid of Loam and a land. And then we'll play a Valakut Sego. We'll get rid of a Neonate. Opponent gets him for three. And there's a Trinket Mage. Can maybe get another Relic. And instead goes for Walking Ballista. Makes sense. So they can play a pretty big Walking Ballista next turn. We'll just take a normal draw step. Alright, Neonate is a way for us to rebuild after the Relic of Progenitus happens. The problem is your opponent's gonna just keep up the Relic until we go for the Splendid Reclamation. So we kind of need to find an Ancient Grudge to deal with the Relic beforehand. Get rid of Loam. I guess we could be dredging Stinkweed Imp since that increases our chances of finding an Ancient Grudge for the Relic. Another assistant. Alright, 
opponent gets the triggers from the assistants too. Alright, I think I think we'll just dredge the stinkweed in the hopes of finding ancient grudge. Alright, we found it. Could also grudge the ballista, but I think our only way of winning is if we grudge the relic. So let's grudge the relic. Opponent's gonna sacrifice it, sure. I think we just play Cinderglade, say go. So we get to chum block with the neonate. The other option would be to sack it now in the hopes of maybe finding a faithless looting that we can flash back or the uh, retrieval on the Splendid Reclamation. I don't think that's super likely to uh, work out. So I think being able to block with neonate is probably more valuable. Uh, they're gonna shoot the neonate now. So we might just be dead here. Yeah, did not mill over Ancient Grudge. So they can attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, and then shoot us for 4. So that's exactly enough. Alright, it's too bad. The Relic kind of screwed with our plan. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. And I don't think we can keep this since we don't have any draw effects to go with our dredgers. Alright, I'll uh, keep this. Got neonate to go with the life from the loam, and I'll bottom the land. I think we can afford to fetch stomping ground here. Also puts the wooded foothills in the graveyard for life from the loam. And dark slick shores. So some sort of blue black deck. Alright, um, discard life and dredge it. And we get to drench the stinkweed, that's nice. Let's pop out the graveyard, so there's a reunion, double neonate and a bunch of lands. I guess we could ally from the loam this turn. And just get back a bunch of lands, so we can make sure we keep hitting our land drops. So I'll get Valakut, Mountain, and Foothills. Alright, opponent has a spell snare, that's fine. And a fairy conclave from the opponent. Let's dredge loam. And then cast loam, targeting Valakut, Foothills and Mountain. And then we'll go Mountain Unite. Alright, Bitter Blossom, so we could be up against fairies. That's exciting. So let's sacrifice Neonates, discarding Imp, and dredge the Imp, and then untap, dredge another Imp. And alright, we get to flashback looting here. There's no Mystic Retrieval yet. So we get to dredge Thug, and then dredge Loam, and then discard two Imps. And play a Valakut. Alright, so next turn we can Retrieval for Reclamation and then cast Reclamation. But our opponent's gonna have quite a few counter spells or discard spells to try and disrupt us here. I guess if we can find a Conflagrate, that's pretty good against uh, fairies. Alright, we get to untap and dredge Stinkweed Imp. I think we just cast the Retrieval here. I guess I'll play the Foothills just in case we need the mana. Yeah, let's go for a Reclamation. Alright, that worked. And I guess we can fetch a Forest here and cast Loam. Just to get... I guess Cinderglade also works. Just to get a few extra lands in here. So let's get Steam Vents, Mountain, Cinderglade. Do want to keep enough mountains in the graveyard to win, but I think we have plenty. Alright, opponent's got the spell stutter sprite for the life from the loam. That's okay. Just have to hope they don't have a counter spell for the reclamation next turn. Alright, no untapped fourth land means no cryptic command at least. But they can have another spell stutter sprite, which would counter a four drop, which is pretty annoying. So what to do, what to do? We kind of want to find a conflagrate first to kind of clear the path for Splendid Reclamation. So I think we dredge Stinkweed Imp. 
And did we find it? Yep, we did. Perfect, so we get to conflagrate for three. Discarding these. I guess another play we could have made is just hard cast Stinkweedim, since that blocks the 1 1 fairies. And our opponent flashes and spells Sutter Sprite in an attempt to counter Conflagrate, but the convert mana cost of Conflagrate is 7 here, since the value of X equals 3, so they won't be able to counter it after all, but I don't think it was really gonna matter in this spot. So, let's see if the reclamation works. And our opponent scoops it up, alright. Alright, so we're up against blue-black fairies. How do we want to handle this? I don't think we have much we want to sideboard. Opponent could have Graveyard Hate in the form of Leyline of the Void, for example. Nile Spellbomb, Surgical. So Nature's Claim only does something against Nile Spellbomb and Leyline. So we only really want Nature's Claim in the case where they have Leyline, since against Nile Spellbomb it's also not great. Yeah, I think we just run it back. I guess maybe I should have brought in the Boseju, since they do have some counter spells here. Yeah, I forgot about uh, Boseju. That should have been in the deck. Either way, this hand seems fine. Opponent leads with Inquisition. Gonna take the looting. Alright, so let's just play a tap land here. I guess Valakut works. Say go. Alright, turn to Bitter Blossom and Neonite was a nice draw. And I'll just play a tap steam vents. Say go. And kind of wait out with the neonate to maybe play around graveyard hate effect. Alright, another inquisition. I guess that works. No reason to sag the neonate in response. Opponent discards the imp. And then a copter. I don't think we have to sag the neonate yet. I'll let the dredge from Stinkweed Imp happen first. Alright, some uh, nice cards here. Could already Mystic Retrieval for Reclamation, don't hate that. So let's get a mountain. And Retrieval. The Reclamation. Could make the argument that this is weak to Thoughtseize, since now they get just get to Thoughtseize a Reclamation, whereas had we uh, just flashback the looting, then that would not have happened. But this is a bit better, I think, against Graveyard Hate, plus there's a chance we just get to win next turn, although I guess it's a pretty slim one. Put on Cruise Copter, and gets in for four. So yeah, right now we have... Two mountains, foothills, Valakut, but we get to sack the Neonates to dredge Stinkweed Imp, which hopefully finds us some more dredge cards. Alright, end of turn, do this, and dredge Stinkweed Imp. Alright, and there's a Golgari Thug, which we can dredge. And there's a Conflagrate as well. So one, two, three, four mountains, with two already in play, and we'll get a third one and double Valakut. Yeah, that should actually do it. If our opponent doesn't have a counter spell here, or a surgical extraction, I guess would also do it. We are forced to get a stomping ground, so we'll have to take some extra damage. All right, let's see if they have a counter spell here, and yeah. And yeah, there we go, 8 Valaka triggers times 3 damage is enough to get the job done. Awesome, so managed to beat Blue Black Fairies. I want to thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for supporting the channel, and you can do so yourself as well over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd, where you get cool rewards for supporting the channel, as well as getting us closer to our goals, where with every goal reached, we will release an additional weekly series. So if you want to see more content, Patreon is the place to go.